that has just welcomed a blast from the past, a vintage store specialising in rare records. Ted Carroll is selling over 50,000 vinyls he's collected, all in the name of charity. Most of the stock comes from my own personal collection or wholesale stock that I had left over from the shop. Um, so we're just turning it into cash and, 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 and distributing it to specific uh, charities, mainly to uh, support refugees and homeless. Pure coincidence, I was just driving into Stamford one day and I saw the sale sign here and I thought, oh, we could reopen Rock On here. Um, here we are. Ted ran the famous London shop Rock On Records that opened in 1971. It even attracted some of music's biggest names as customers. Bob Dylan was rehearsing at the, the electric ballroom. So he came in the shop one day and uh, he bought a whole bunch of gospel albums. But he's, Bob is a huge fan of all sorts of music. Ted even went on to manage Thin Lizzy, one of the biggest bands of all time. Fifty years of building up his record collection, he's been fighting for floor space with his wife ever since. My living room at home, well, is sort of a living room. Sort of a, a good uh, quarter of it is piled up with records and he sits there clicking his machine while the television's on. It's very irritating sometimes, but I'm tolerant as he's enjoying himself and he's doing it for a good cause. Well, she, she exaggerates. In terms of space, about one-eighth of it has got vinyl, but most of that will go in here and then we'll have, eventually, in about a month's time, the sitting room will be pretty well a vinyl-free zone.